Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fancy Sip Review. Today on the Fancy Sip Review, I'm going to be trying another drink by Bucked Up. This is going to be the Sour Gummy flavor, and this will be part of their Big Game line. The Big Game line is different than the usual Bucked Up flavors, which are supplements used for going to the gym. Maybe if you want to increase your bench, maybe if you want to run a faster mile, you would drink that with all of the caffeine in it. But the Big Game line is different. Instead of the gym, this is going to be helping you play video games. Do you need to get more headshots in Counter-Strike? Do you need to get more pentakills in League of Legends? And if you're a Fortnite player, do you want to take a fun Battle Royale game and turn it into a stressful, anxiety-filled horror game of hoping people don't pop up and kill you? Well, is this going to be the drink for you? Well, we're going to have to find out together. So first of all, the Bucked Up Company is based out of American Fork, Utah. This is one of the more popular of the energy drink companies, and it is kind of pricey. What Bucked Up does different than other companies is they use ginseng to sweeten their beverage. This is uh, Korean ginseng, I'm pretty sure, not Wisconsin ginseng. And what is in this drink that makes this a gamer drink? Uh, Supplement, well, they're patented new level. What is new level? Well, it we're going to find out together. But first, I did look up on my phone to see if there are studies done on this. And according to the National Library of Medicine, National Center for Biotechnology Information. There was a study done October 11th of 2019 in which they tested the product with double-blind studies. And the conclusion of this actually surprised me. According to the conclusion of this, the results of this randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study demonstrated that the product studied improved executive functioning, before and after video game playing. Enhancements were seen in processing speed, task switching, and selective attention in e-gamers taking the product studies as observed by positive changes in TMT and Stroop test performance. Moreover, the product studied increased perceived vigor energy levels in e-gamers after a single dose and decreased anger these study or this data support the use of new level R in esport gamers looking to improve their accuracy, decision making, and reaction time during the video game they're played. So this was funded by an unrestricted e search grant to QPS Missouri by Nutrition Twenty One LLC. Supposedly there were no conflicts of interest, but I don't know. So I have had a drink by Bucked Up before, one of their other big games, which was the cotton candy flavor. And I do want to say that that was a very gross tasting energy drink. But with the sour gummy, it's going to have to be tasty because gummies are delicious. So let's look at the nutrition facts in this. You are getting zero calories, zero fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, one gram of carbohydrates, and nothing else. You're getting 25 milligrams of vitamin B6 and 200 micrograms of vitamin B12, 1,470% and 8,333 percent of those two vitamins. The ingredients in this drink are going to be Carbonated water, natural flavors, malic acid, taurine, tartric acid, new level, which I was talking about earlier, which is inositol enhanced bonded arginine silicate, sucralose, caffeine, 150 milligrams, sodium benzoate, and acetol L tyrosine, asulafane potassium organic carrot powder. So you're getting a little bit of vegetables in this. Alpha-sized alpha-GPC, 50%, vitamin B6, lutein, zeaxanthin, huperzine A, and vitamin B12. Let's look at this can. 
The can uses the same design of the bucked up where it has the deer. Big game is obviously a reference to deers. There's the green to show that this is going to be a sour gummy, but they do not use artificial colors in this, so it will just be a clear drink. Will this pick up? Does not look good. There we go. There's the nutrition facts. And the ingredients are listed this way, which I don't think that will be able to pick up. There we go. There's the ingredients if you are interested in seeing for yourself. And Sing will be believing if this will actually help me play video games. So I'm going to open this up right now. As I stated, with no artificial colors listed in the ingredients, it is a very clear beverage, as you can see. From the way that I poured it, it has a lot of carbonation up at the top. Let's see how this smells. It has a very light, sweet, uh, sugary smell to it, which is odd with the sour gummy name. I was expecting this to be a bit more malic or citrus acidy. And less just sweet. It's just giving me a sweet smell. There's nothing that I can really describe the smell, the smell to other than just artificial sugar. Let's see how this sits in the mouthfeel portion of this review. I will say that it is a bit more sour than I was expecting. If I were to compare this to the sourness of a another sour energy drink that I've had, this would fall more in line with the Ghost Sour Patch Kids rather than the Ghost Warheads. This doesn't have that real malic acid where it just makes you like feel like there's something on your tongue. This is more of a sweet sour where the sweet shines through, but the sour is there in the front end of this. On the back end, it is pure sweetness, and the flavor just, you know, it just tastes like an artificial uh, soda. I'll give this one more sip. There is a good amount of stuff floating in this, which I don't know if that's from the way that I poured it or if that's caffeine or if that's the new level, but it's pretty cool. So the most notes that I'm getting from this is kind of like just a Kool-Aid type beverage in which you poured a little bit too much sugar in this too. There is a bit of sour on the front end notes, but on the back end, it is pure sweetness. It's honestly a very tasty, not unique, because every single company has their own sour candy, sour gummy line. Whereas this doesn't really have anything that makes it, you know, that unique. It's not like the sour white bear or whatever the rain flavor is, where it's supposed to be pineapple. This is just pure light end, light front end sour, where it's just pure sweetness at the end. I think in terms of flavor, I would give this probably a, I don't know, a... 7 out of 10, despite the fact that this drink does taste very good, it doesn't really have anything unique about it. If you want to play video games, and supposedly the study backs up that this does help you possibly play video games better, which I, I don't really know the skill level of the people that were tested. There are probably just noobs playing the game who, 
I mean, probably are like iron two in terms of counter strike and can't get past that. And then maybe, I don't know, they played people that are worse and they did better. In terms of the drink, though, it tastes very all right. It, it just tastes like Kool-Aid with artificial sugar in it a little bit too much. It doesn't have the fruit punch taste, obviously. I don't know. It just manages to taste like sugar water to me. I do think that it's a unique beverage. I do think that this is a million times better than the uh, cotton candy flavor they had by them. This is actually drinkable, but it's drinkable in the way in which it doesn't really offer anything that unique outside of the fact that sugar is an addiction and it's going to taste good. It tastes like sugar. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you believe that New Level is the future of esports, whereas at one point it was Adderall and they made all the pro gamers stop taking that, obviously. Will New Level be the new caffeine? Is it possible that somebody that's playing esports at a professional level will have their anger resolved by this? That I can't possibly imagine. People have been trolling since doom they probably been trolling since pong in the arcade i can't imagine that some scientist found a way to stop internet trolling so yeah i think it's a pretty decent drink you should try this let me know what you think about it please like please comment please subscribe i've been the fancy sipper and cheers